I'm about to play for you some very revealing footage concerning this cargo ship that hit the Baltimore Bridge. And after watching it, let me know what you think, if this was just an accident or not. And if you haven't yet already heard, before I show you that full footage, there's a reason why everyone is questioning what's really going on. Rescuers are still on the search for six people who are working construction potholes on the bridge when the accident occurred. And not just that, but actually what's so interesting about all of this, before we look at that footage, which is going to reveal some very interesting details, the Francis Scott Key Bridge Notice that name is an enormous steel structure which carries the Interstate 695 Highway over the river southeast of the metropolitan area, built in 1977, referred to locally as the Key Bridge. It was named after the author of the American National Anthem. How interesting. The bridge is more than 8,500 feet. And sure enough, as we see the footage here, you can see how the lights are on the ship, and then all of a sudden they're off. And it just keeps heading towards the one head, the one part of the bridge that is the worst case scenario. As the lights continue to stay off, you can tell that things are only getting worse. And then the lights come back on and you think, oh, finally, they're about to save themselves. They're not going to hit the bridge. They're going to turn away. Sure enough, after that, the lights just go off right before they hit the bridge. If you think this is an accident and out of all the places it had to hit on the bridge, it just so happened to hit the one spot that would take it all down. Now, if you don't know about this port, it's actually one of the most important ports of America. It houses a ton of cars and goods and even cruise ships are constantly passing through here. And here's the route of the Dali cargo ship before it collided with the Francis Scott Key Bridge. You could just tell how things just didn't go right. Some are just going to say this is a mechanical error. Some are going to say that this was a cyber attack. Some are going to say that this was not an accident whatsoever. As of Tuesday afternoon, two people were pulled from the water. One is in critical condition, officials said. Now it gets even crazier. I know the Simpsons might sound like it has nothing to do with this, but it is awfully interesting. Some people are remarking how the Simpsons predicted a bridge collapse back in 1997, and they described a really similar version of humans being in the water. And I'm not going to go all out and say that that was a perfect prediction because, I don't know, you can predict a lot of things back in 1997 about a bridge collapsing. And maybe a bridge could collapse in the future. But I will just say it's awfully convenient how out of all the places that ship had to go, it went to the one worst case scenario and in one of the most important bridges here in the country that we have at the same time where we're struggling with supply chain issues and inflation and infrastructure and electricity nobody really knows what to trust anymore or where to go and we also have the solar eclipse coming up on april 8th right it really feels like all these things are combining but i say all that to say you actually have no reason to be afraid but instead actually you need to be concerned in a way of wisdom in a way that only leads you into the presence of truth himself. No matter what you think, you can definitely understand that something is going on with the cyber world, specifically with AI, with uh, even all of these social media apps that have algorithms far beyond your understanding. Our entire economy is off the basis of can we stay secure or not? And it's awfully convenient how at the time China is trying to take Taiwan and and Russia is going after Ukraine. We have just all these forces. And obviously, by the way, I'm not saying you can trust Ukraine either, right? You know, there's so many questions that all are also going on with Israel, the Palestinians who have been deceived and manipulated by Hamas. It really feels like the world is walking on eggshells. And the only reason I tell you, you don't have to be afraid is because I'm assuming that you're in the right place. I'm assuming you're under the covering of the Almighty, the El Shaddai. It's obvious that even if all of these things were quote unquote accidents from a human's perspective, we can obviously tell that the spiritual realm has been intermingled with America, especially the past couple of years, and has been targeting our infrastructure, our technology, our cybersecurity. And no matter what, we can see that the demonic realm is influencing people to really come after us in these times and in these seasons. And if you don't believe me, just go listen to the congressional hearings where they were talking about these unidentified creatures. Now, the reports are out, and I don't know how much we can believe this, but they are saying that the ship was operated by a 22-person Indian crew. Uh, it was not immediately clear what kind of cargo the ship was carrying. While Baltimore is not one of the largest U.S. East Coast ports, it still imports and exports more than a million containers each year. So there is potential for this to cause significant disruption to supply chains. And, and I'm not going to go all out and say that this was all 100% from a certain country and they have this certain agenda. But we can obviously tell that our national security is being attacked on every side. We have a border that isn't a border whatsoever. We, we have ports and bridges that are as secure as the ocean itself. Cellular providers like AT 
AT&T had an entire collapse weeks ago. Where it's also pretty interesting how everything that's been going on with Boeing recently, their CEO has completely resigned after all of the scandals that have taken them, where doors are being blown out just while flying and the whistleblower on Boeing recently, right? And so what do we have that's going on where there's all these cover-ups? I don't think anyone in the general public really has trust for government anymore, really has trust for the pharma, for the large companies, for the executives and the elites that tell us from Davos that we just need to listen to them. Here's the truth. Whether or not any of these things are actually happening, we know as a fact that the Bible is the absolute truth and God actually spelled all of these things out for us from the start when he tells us that we can only trust in his living word. And when we pray, we've got to pray the Ephesians prayers that God would enlighten the eyes of our understanding. And that's what I'm praying over you in your life right now. I even, as I'm speaking to you, I see that there are elephants in your room, things that the enemy has always attacked you in areas in which he's always known that he can just have you at the last hour. And I encourage you, if you will humble yourself and run into the presence of God today and get real with God for just a moment. In fact, there's some of you even watching this video, you have been sexually attacked. I know this has nothing to do with the Baltimore port, but I just have to say it because the Lord wants you to know that you have been sexually attacked. There's some of you in marriage and you have been tempted to run away from that and be unfaithful. And I believe God is actually completely interrupted this video right now to give you the chance to repent and run back into his presence and humble yourself. It's, it's a little foxes that spoil the den. Even others of you that yeah, you're single and you've been struggling with addictions to porn and you've been living these two lives where like you can go to church or read your Bible or like watch a video about faith and then but then like you turn and then you have a different friend group and a different playlist and a different set of movies you like watching and it's like you live just two completely different lives. I would encourage you today to just love God with all of your life. As crazy as it sounds, I promise you that it's worth it because he has loved you with all of his life. He has chosen you. And the real life for him is not just one where we pick and choose as if he's a Lucky Charms cereal box. The real life is when you just say yes and give him everything. If only you knew what it looked like if you would love God today, if you would seek first his kingdom and nothing else, he would bless you beyond measure. Don't believe me? I used to be someone who was actually about to die in the hospital with nothing left. But Jesus Christ healed me and brought me back. And ever since then, telling the story of just how good he is. Especially this year, I think we need to be on the lookout for our national security. And that's not to get you afraid. That's not to go fear mongering. But instead, that's just to remind you that the safest place you could be is under the shadow of the Almighty. You only have three seconds to find out how this upcoming solar eclipse on April 8th could impact the entire country. Click right here.